When you have a lot of work across a lot of projects, managing your day-to-day -day priorities can get complicated. My work gives you the tools to get things done by helping you make good decisions about what to work on next. Let's take a look at what's on my plate. I have a number of tasks across a couple of projects. I also have some work I need to do that isn't reflected here, like a request I got from a customer this morning. The upcoming task list shows your planned, scheduled project work, while your private to-do list is where you can keep track of your non-project work. One of the first things I do when I get to my desk in the morning is look over my upcoming tasks list. My tasks are in the order that Liquid Planner calculates from the plan on the projects tab, as well as from my availability and the estimates that I provide. Usually the tasks at the top of the list are the most important, but these columns also help me decide on what to do next. A couple of columns I like to use are remaining effort, which is how long I think each task will take me, and deadline. You can change these columns to whatever works best for you. I see that this one has a deadline at risk, and it shouldn't take too long, so I decide to work on it. Each task has functionality that helps me stay on top of my work. In addition to starting a timer, I can also see the checklist items that are assigned to me. If I want to know more, or make edits to this task, I can click on the task name. This gives me all of the information about this particular task. I can see that I'm working on this task with Nick. I can see all of the checklist items on this task. I can leave comments, add documents, add links, and see the history. When I track time to this task, the entire schedule is updated and my remaining effort is reduced automatically. Once I double check that the estimate still reflects reality, I can move on to the next thing. Now that I finished everything for this task, I need to mark my portion of the work done. But since Nick still has work left to do, the task will remain active for him until he's finished with his portion. Adding new work into the plan is really easy. Just type in the task name, choose a location, and click Add. If you don't specify a location, new items will land in the workspace inbox. Some teams like to hold items in the inbox so they can have a quick discussion about how the new work should be scheduled in the plan. So be sure to check with your project manager about your team's workflow. Now that we've gone through the list of scheduled work, let's look at a different list. Your private to-do list is where you can capture ad hoc work that isn't necessarily part of the project plan, or it's where you can quickly add things that you'll need to put into the plan later. Let's say that I got an email from a customer this morning. I took a quick look at it, but realized that it would take me some time to pull together the information that she needs, so instead of getting sidetracked, I added a to-do list item as a reminder for later. Now that I'm ready to think about it, I can convert it to a new task, which gets added to the workspace inbox. My new task, Create Revised Contract for Jen, now appears in my upcoming task list, and if necessary, I can move it to a new location. And those are the basics of getting things done with Liquid Planner. Check out our other videos to learn more.